What's going on? It's Brian Sparky's Model Savage. Um, thought I'd do a quick video here. Uh, I'm just going to talk here for a couple minutes about weathering. Uh, basically, there's a lot of different videos out there on uh, how to do weathering. And what I'm trying to bring to you guys is the way I do it. And there's really no way that like I do everything the same way. There's different techniques that I use and some of them might just come by accident. Uh, I'm actually doing this video because I'm doing the 64, the Patriot 64 right now, um, which will be hopefully in the next video. And um, I screwed up and because I screwed up, I figured out something else. So, weathering is not about being perfect. It's really just about trying to make it look like crap, basically. I mean, there's really no wrong way or right way to do this, okay? You know, you might watch a couple of videos, which I learned a lot off of military weathering videos, like back in the day. That's how I came up with a lot of this stuff. So, and... I've used some of those, you know, to, you know, learn from, and then it turned into something else. And just because you watch one video and, you know, you don't really like what they're doing, which I, I did this tons of times, you don't like the technique that they're using. You, they're like, oh, that seems way too hard. But you might watch that video for 10 minutes and then pick up on just one thing. And you're, you think, oh man, that's great. That's, that's a, that's the reason you watch that 10 minute video is for that one idea. And I've done that. God, I don't know how many times watch videos that it's like, yeah, I'm never going to do that. I'm never, that's, I already do this, this way. I already do that a different way. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna, oh, that's a great idea. So then I use that, you know, and I've done that plenty of times. I've done that a lot, actually. So, um, you know, it's, there's no wrong or right way to do this. Thought I'd show you a couple of these. It's my garage over here. It's a constant, you know, build. Um, constantly adding things to this. But there's a GTO I just did. Um, none of these are mounted or anything. You know, I, I wanted to take them out for pictures and stuff, so I didn't mount those. None of this stuff in here is mounted, but, um, basically what I'm showing you is did a little bit different. This was a little bit different technique from this, different technique from that. You know, like everything here is different. You know, like, I mean, yeah, some of the stuff I do do the same. Like, you know, you do the base primer and uh, let it harden, and then you do a light color over it and sand it down. Yeah, I've done all that, you know, like on, on basically all these models, but it's the after part that I've always kind of changed up. I mean, uh, this I used... Uh, First, it was the primer, and then I sprayed the front clip black, sanded that a little bit to the, back to the primer, and then sprayed the blue over it, and then sanded that down to the black. So that's how you get that. And I'll show you that in videos. I'm going to do tons of videos on this stuff. Um, that was basically same thing, almost the same thing. Um, I did, uh, flat, uh, the, the base was the primer, sprayed the green. Then while it was still kind of wet, I went back with, uh, sandpaper and just, uh, sanded it down, got the shininess off. And then it was still kind of tacky. Then I just took the paintbrush and just started making little divots in it. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of. I could have done better, but 
I like it. Or a lot of people seem to like it. It got actually uh, cover on a lot of different groups here recently. Uh, this is actually going to be my uh, this is my base for my outdoor like junkyard type thing. Yeah, I don't I mean I don't I don't got much room in this room. So, um, that was done different. That was, you know, a lot of sanding on that. Um, this was actually one which did the HVAC tape on the back, and I'm going to do a video on that again. I've already done one on the Torino. Um, that was one of my first weathered ones. That's actually a replica of my old truck when... I, I scrapped for a long time, and I had that truck for about five years, four or five years. Absolutely love that truck. That was that's a plow truck. Started that thing five years ago, and I, yeah, it lost interest, and then couldn't figure stuff out. And I knew like, when I get better, I'll go back to it. And I got better. I went back to it, and I nailed it. Um, it's a Wildcat in there. Charger. Um, you know, that was, that's a lot of, uh, it's actually not a lot of sanding. I mean, there's some on there, but that's more, um, that's, oh God, I can't even think of it. The model wash, that's more of the wash than anything. Um, that rust, I actually didn't even sand through. I did it with a paintbrush and then sanded it and then did a little bit more with paintbrush, sanded it. So like, there's no primer coming through that really. Um, I did the same thing with the Wildcat too. Like that was all white, and then I added the rust with the paintbrush. That's all paintbrush. Paintbrush, weathering, uh, clay, um, pastels, and stuff. That was almost the same way. Yeah, I think I did did do this the same way as that as the Wildcat. Paintbrush, pastels. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's nothing underneath. You know, why? It's just going to be sitting in a field, you know. But, yeah, there's... There's really no wrong way to do this. You know, you'll, you'll stumble across stuff. I'm going to show you stuff in videos. Um, yeah, I... <sighs> take out some living room here. I mean, that, everything that I've done, I've learned something new on it. Just get better at each one, you know. And it really does not take long to do this. There's a Torino with the messed up back end. That's all. So basically what I'm getting at is... There's, it really doesn't take long to do this. And for a lot of you people out there that you're used to building the nice models and, you know, you used to doing things, you know, to make it look perfect, you know, and I get it. it it's a big transition, but this is literally how I started because I knew I could not do that. My dad, when he was alive, was doing, you know, the nice models and everything. And I, I don't have the patience for that. And I know I'm going to screw something up. So, like, if I, if I did a nice paint job and I screwed it up, it would, to me, I would not be happy. And so, like, I wanted to get back into this hobby because I did this when I was a kid. I'm 45 now. I wanted to do this when I was a kid. And I I was like, no, I'm not going to do the nice ones. I, you know, I've been in scrap yards for, you know, 10 years at that time. You know, I'm like, I want to do rusty stuff. I want to do rusty stuff. So I started looking up the videos on YouTube and started following a lot of people that did the military, which I have no interest in. It's just, I, I don't know the difference between a German tank and an American tank. And, 
I, you know, I, I don't get it. But when you look at all the military stuff, it's all weathered. Everything is weathered. There, you don't see no brand new tanks running around, you know, in, in videos and movies or on the field if you're in the service. Like, you know, you don't clean those things. You know, they're all weathered. So, like, a majority of the weathering at the time when I got into this like eight years ago, it was all military. So that's what I, um, that's what I followed. That's what I, you know, watched the videos on. And that's what I picked up on. And now a lot of people actually are doing weathering. And not a lot of people are making videos, but I wanted, I wanted to, you know, I've, I've had a lot of requests for me to do videos. So that's why I'm doing this now. So yeah, just stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and um, go to the video of the giveaway that I'm doing for the first thousand subscribers. Uh, you're going to get to get one of these built by me. I'm going to do a video of those two, of you know, which one I'm going to build. Right now, the Nova is like way ahead of everything else. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be the Nova. It's going to be the one that's going to be picked. So, um, every, you know, put your votes in the comments, which one you like to see me build and which one you like to have. And then and once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a drawing of the winner and i'll contact you somehow some way we'll figure that out later and you're gonna get that model built by me you're gonna do a full build video on that i'm planning on doing full build videos on everything and trying to make them as short as possible without trying to really you know exclude a lot of details that are going to you know be a reason really why i'm doing the videos so yeah, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and go look for, I'm going to probably try and put the other video in the comments, or the link here for the giveaway. So, see you later.